With a growing demand for electricity and in response to increasing customer owner requests for renewable energy options, Northern Virginia Electric Cooperative, NOVEC, a utility serving more than 150,000 homes and businesses in Northern Virginia, in 2009 turned its attention to renewable power. At that time, Virginia did not have any renewable energy mandates and standards were being debated on the federal level. The NOVEC team set their sights on being proactive, responsive to consumers, and good environmental stewards. The electric cooperative, owned by the people it serves, provides power in Clark, Fairfax, Fauquier, Loudoun, Prince William, and Stafford counties, the city of Manassas Park, and the town of Clifton. With a customer base that values environmental responsibility, NOVEC began looking for the best way to generate reliable, affordable power for its consumers. The sun doesn't always shine, and the wind doesn't always blow, but a power plant using wood chips as a fuel source proved to be a reliable solution. That's why when Michigan-based Novi Energy approached NOVEC with a plan for a biomass plant in Southside, Virginia, an area that could provide the needed wood chips and is located within driving distance of Novex offices. The plan became a natural fit. In 2010, Novec and Novi Energy pursued the project located in South Boston, Virginia. The location inspired the name South Boston Energy, the LLC formed by Novi Energy and purchased by Novec to sell the power produced at the facility. Here in the Halifax County Industrial Park, the former location of a Georgia Pacific manufacturing plant provided a unique geographic setting in the wood basket of Virginia. This was the perfect spot for a biomass power plant, a facility that uses organic material as fuel. With plenty of logging, milling, and manufacturing in the area, there's a steady supply of wood waste from what would have been left to decompose in the forest and emit methane, a harmful greenhouse gas. By using the wood waste, or slash, as a fuel for the power plant, the waste can be burned to create power in a carbon neutral process. The selected 104 acre site allows space for the facility to remain unseen from adjoining roads as it generates close to 50 megawatts of electricity, enough to power 16,000 homes and account for 6.5% of Novex power supply in 2014. In 2011, the Virginia State Corporation Commission gave approval for construction to begin on the project, allowing NOVEC to build its first generating station fueled from a renewable resource. The ribbon was cut and trucks delivered the first wood chips two years later. To fuel the power plant, slash from a 50-mile radius is harvested and trucked continuously to the facility where it is burned to make steam. The resulting steam turns a turbine that produces electricity. The thousands of gallons of water used in the plant also demonstrate Novec's commitment to environmental responsibility. Rather than use fresh water, reclaimed water from a neighboring water treatment plant is circulated through a closed loop system to cool the steam. Electricity produced at the plant will be sold by South Boston Energy to Novec, who will then provide the power to its customers. Minnesota-based Fagan Incorporated built the facility, which contractor Pure Energy began operating in 2013. The $180 million project has been supported through a USDA Rural Development Loan of $90 million, other loan and grant funds of $40 million, and Novec Equity in excess of $50 million. During the two-year construction period from December 2010 to September 2013, the project created about 250 jobs with a total payroll of $30 million. The finished facility supports about 26 new full-time jobs with an annual payroll in excess of $1.5 million. Experts project that 40 new jobs in the forestry, logging, and transportation industries will be created. The plant energizes the local Halifax County economy and generates power needed to serve the NOVEC members. That's what I call a win-win. The facility helps the local Halifax County economy by annually injecting up to 600000 in new property tax revenue with little or no impact on their local government services. In addition, to date, 
about 35 million in materials purchased for construction have been taxable under Virginia's sales and use tax. The result of that is nearly 1.8 million in new sales tax revenue available for use by the Commonwealth and Halifax County. South Boston business ABB built the two transformers used in the biomass plant. They step up electricity used to energize the plant itself. There are so many attributes associated with this project. We've satisfied our customers' expectations, added biomass to the methane recovery and hydro in our renewable energy portfolio, and further diversified our resource mix as a result. We're producing energy from this plant at a competitive price, and we've helped the local economy. This project is powering a new generation.